Hey Fu, thanks for that excellent uh, video. And it made me think of lots of things. It actually reminded me of one of the very first videos I sent to you. Um, talking about people that uh, uh, that respond to strong emotions in a negative way. Like they don't, they, they, they seemingly don't want you to feel the way you feel. And uh, I admit what you were talking about reminded me of uh, another form of that. And uh, people not wanting you to behave the way you behave or do what you do. Um, especially if it's uh, outside the norm, you know, like your average. Um, I mean, if everybody acted just like me, and then I would be average and they would be outside the norm. And, uh, you know, people would be talking to them about... You know, I don't understand your drive to own a big house and have two cars and get married really young and try to get yourself uh, into a career while you're in your uh, early 20s and um, you're already planning on staying there till you retire. And um, You know, I, th I think we should really talk about your choices, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but we're all trying to find our way to something and only we know how to get there. Um, I mean, there's a, a template down for a lot of people to follow, um, but that's not going to take all of us where we need to go. And so, for instance, for me, uh, where I needed to go um, was uh, to build a tiny house. And uh, and then, you know, living in a tiny little house like that, then I needed to get a dog, um, which really punched, uh, punched people's buttons. They really wanted to talk to me about the way I behaved and my choices. They didn't understand them. Uh, and they seemed wrong. That didn't seem normal. Uh, and then uh, next thing you know, I'm holding a camera in one hand everywhere I go. And uh, um, I just I just wasn't matching what people thought of as normal. And uh, um, I met a lot of uh, a lot of opposing force. But. Uh, I really, I mean, I really wish they hadn't. I wish that uh, they just would have let me find my way to where I was going. Um, I think that if, while I was making these choices, if I would have doubted uh, the value of those choices, I might not have made them, and I still wouldn't have arrived where I was heading. You know, how frustrating is that? You know, like, uh, you know, I need to get someplace where I feel happy and I feel uh, me, and uh, I need to take these steps to get there, and because they don't, those steps don't coincide uh, with other people's steps. Um, they try to get me to doubt my steps. And if I would have doubted myself, if I thought, "Oh well, I guess I guess I could do this in a small apartment," um, and I guess a small apartment uh, would want me to have a dog that's less than 20 pounds or 15 pounds, uh, so I guess I'll let them dictate what kind of animal I have. Um, you know, if I would have, uh, if I would have given up, I would, like, I'd be sitting here right now talking to you, uh, still no closer, uh, to the destination that I was searching for. And, uh, I wouldn't say that I found it, um, but I feel really good because of my experiences with the tiny house and Aquila and, uh, YouTube filming myself. Um, and I felt that that got me where I needed to go, got me where I wanted to go, and um, found some things inside me that uh, um, I needed to find, I needed to discover, and um, adjusted things inside me that I needed to adjust, and um, I needed things to be the way they were in order to get there. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what your video made me think of. You know, the... Uh, it's kind of like uh, I was talking to a friend of mine that uh, I, had, I had done this thing that uh, should have had this outcome, and uh, it didn't. And all the, uh, the indicators were that I had done it wrong, except for that I knew that I had done it right. And it was like that whole thing of like, if everything points to you're doing something wrong, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that's true, but I was like, I was really aware of how these circumstances unfolded and how all the evidence would be against me. And uh, the only, you know, 
the only evidence uh, to the contrary is my absolute belief that uh, you know I had done everything correctly and uh, and that's you know that was how I approached uh, Tiny House and Aquila and the video recorder um, and a ton of other different things in my life I could think of um, things that just really didn't make sense and upset people and people struggled against and uh, I still went and did those things, and I still got the benefit, but I think that the trying to sow seeds of doubt to try to to try to get me to walk off my path um it frustrates me and angers me um but uh I also know that that's just the way of life, and because I'm aware that that's gonna happen in the future when I do something like like the tiny house uh and I meet that resistance um uh, maybe I won't be angry because I'll expect it. And I'll know that uh, it's not for other people to steer my ship, it's for me to steer my ship. And only I know uh, uh, of what kind of harbor I'm looking for and what's going to be safe for me. And, uh, and it won't be in a, in a massive marina, uh, bumper to bumper with other boats, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, yeah, and you said something about uh, uh, stepping aside and pulling back, getting away, uh, being remote. Uh, something along those lines and uh, yeah I, I feel that way all the time I feel that uh, that's the only way to be um, the uh, the idea of having like a simple and sincere life um, means you can't be uh, right there in the center of the freeway <laughs> I know like a lot of people think you could try and I mean some people spend their whole lives in the, on the freeway right in the center of it um, but I can't, I can't see, and I can't hear, and I don't feel safe, and I don't feel calm. I need to be removed from things so I could listen to things and think about it, and I have time. Um, and, you know, if, if that means I only think about and have time to do, you know, one thing or um, come to one conclusion before everything's all over with, um, then that was how far I was supposed to go. Like the whole idea that there's 20 or 30 projects waiting for me, waiting for my attention. And I could probably get to them only if I would uh, sprint out into the light and the noise and the, the rushing uh, boxes of steel. Um, maybe I could make it there. And uh, I'm not interested. That's not, uh, that's not how I'm going to get to where I'm going. All right, Fu. Oh, that was nice that you said that uh, you'd like to come visit me. I think that, uh, that yeah, I, th I think we'd have a great time. I'd love to show you uh, uh, my forest. And then, uh, You'd get the uh, the excellent uh, the excellent experience of being uh, entertained and deeply frustrated by Earl. <laughs> That's my observation, and I know I'm the common denominator, so I know it's me. I know I, I, I'm I'm half I'm half delight and half frustration, uh, except for me. I I don't frustrate me at all. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll talk to you later, Phil. I'll see you in the tubes.